What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Living Vehicle Headquarters in Santa Barbara, California. It's a beautiful day and we're going to take a look at this absolutely insane Living Vehicle HD24 travel trailer. Now you need to go back and check out the other videos that, that I've done out here with them because to truly understand what this is and what's gone into it and the construction and the quality you have to go back and watch the other videos because i can't fit it in to a single tour it just i would never have enough time to do it it'd probably take me two and a, two and a half hours just to go over everything so i did a full video on the solar setup i did a full video on the battery setup these are essentially designed to take out to anywhere and never have to connect them to power but they still give you redundant systems in case you would want to connect it to power it's crazy they give you redundant everything it's insane what goes into these and the quality level of these is better than any rv i have ever seen from any rv manufacturer fact i i don't know who i could ever compare this to even the most premium brands out there only because what they've done here essentially negates almost any chance that you're going to have any type of major failure or components that go out now things can always break of course but uh, they have really gone outside and above and beyond the norm to create an rv that is almost superior in every way um, the only challenge some people may have is 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 this the floor plan that they're looking for and they have several floor plans they even have a gooseneck version which has a nice overhang on it but they may not have the floor plan for you and that's the only limitation but these are definitely pricey units so don't go into this thinking that these are comparable to like a palomino pause a drv a lux these things start at about three hundred thousand, about 299 and go all the way up to about like 800 plus thousand dollars so we are talking about the very best of the best of the best um, the way i kind of like to explain it is these would be the prevo of the towable industry that's how good they are. These are absolutely best of best. Anyways, we're going to take a closer look at this specific one. This is called the HD24. Um, this is a 2024 model. And yeah, I'll show you what it's all about. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so gross vehicle weight rating, 14,000 pounds. Dry weight, 9,000 pounds, 5,000 pounds worth of cargo capacity. This rides on 19 and a half inch wheels with Toyo commercial tires on it. This is absolutely insane. The running gear, it's all Dexter torsion axles. Um, it's just insane. It has full auto leveling as well, Equalizer brand auto leveling. Um, this thing is an absolute beast. But we're going to step inside of it, then we'll come back out and take a look at the outside. Uh, a few standardized features that you'll probably recognize, but there are only a few, and when you do recognize them, it's it's because they're good products. They're not bad. There's no reason to try to reinvent something when it's a good product, such as the more I'd step above steps. And then I nice grab handle right here as well. Almost everything else is custom. Like even the front door on this unit is custom. And you're going to see a little bit of wood in this unit, but mainly in cosmetic areas and not necessarily critical areas. Like you'll see a nice wood door for the bathroom area. Nice hardwood shelving here right here for the entrance. It gives it some good contrast and warms it up a little bit. All right, stepping into the kitchen area. Beautiful, beautiful kitchen. You're not gonna find any wood. Everything is real aluminum. True induction cooktop right here. You have a Bosch stove right here. On this side, you actually have a marine grade refrigerator and freezer, the type of stuff you see in yachts. Aluminum walls, aluminum ceiling, one piece aluminum roof. Have a really nice pull-out pantry system right here. All of the cabinetry, all of this stuff is the kind of stuff you would see in a high-end race trailer. Super, super high-end stuff. This is like the Snap-on Tools version of cabinetry. It's like crazy, crazy high-end. All positive lock, dual struts, aluminum shelves, all adjustable. Over here, some insane drawers. I mean, I love these drawers. These are probably the nicest drawers I've ever seen in an RV. I mean, check this out. And they put stuff everywhere. I mean, you know, you see a lot of small compact RVs and you don't see great place for storage. You see them trying to make do with just cabinetry and stuff. You don't see any drawers, but they put drawers everywhere. And what you're hearing with these drawers are that industrial latching system and spring system. So it's not a lack of quality. These drawers right here, are probably the most expensive and highest-end drawers you would ever see in an RV. Let me give you an example. 
The cabinetry right here, if they had gone with ultra high-end solid woods that are really, really well, you know, cut out, designed, and carpentered, and they did a phenomenal job to replace this with the highest end wood, it would still be about three to four times more expensive to go with this. That's essentially what you're looking at. It's that high end. Um, we did a full video talking about the mechanics of one of these units as well, going over the design, the three inch thick sidewalls, two inches of foam with an air gap. Um, the gentleman who, who is the co-founder of this, him and his wife, he's actually a licensed architect and he worked and renovated, him and his wife worked and renovated over 400 RVs, a lot of them being Airstreams. They lived in Airstreams. They lived on boats. They've lived on in class A diesel pushers. So they know the RV industry and what type of construction goes into them like probably nobody else does. And they're RVers, you know, they've lived in these units. So they knew exactly what they wanted and what was gonna make the very, very best of the best. And they're very humble. And they understand that not everyone can afford one of these, but if you are looking for the top tier, best of the best of the best, this is what you're gonna have to get. Or this is something that would be at least on the list of things that you might look at. You got your really nice bed up here that lowers down so you have your bunk system and this is the main sleeping area in this unit i believe it's about a queen size bed i'm not 100 percent sure but this essentially lowers down and this area is also a sleeping area you can see where you can pull that out right here and you can convert this into a bed as well but yeah you can sleep on top of here and this is essentially the main sleeping area for this unit nice blackout blinds on all the windows huge window here in the back all dual pane windows, so you have nice high-end dual pane windows. You have an LG split system, so you have two air handlers. You have one right here, and you have one in the back, and then the actual outside condenser unit or compressor is under here. Now, this is the thing to keep in mind. This is technology that people have been begging for in the RV industry. Super quiet, super efficient. Um, you can run both systems at the same time along with just about everything else in here and not even put, really put a dent in the charging capabilities of the, the solar on top and the batteries in this as well. You got your smart TV here. You got more cabinetry here as well. All adjustable shelves. They take advantage of about every spot for cabinetry. Beautiful wood accents all throughout this area. Underneath here, you actually can flip these up and you can access the subfloor, which gives you access to all your lithium iron phosphate batteries, your Victron controllers, everything. And it's huge. We did a full video that goes over all the technical specs of this system. I definitely recommend going back and checking it out because the solar system that's on this unit is about $100,000 worth of equipment alone. Not even talking about fabrication or installation, just equipment. This island actually unscrews. So when you open these up, you got those little screws right there. You twist it off and you can move this island out here on the patio, which supports like 1400 pounds. It is the most insanely built patio I have ever seen. It is crazy. And you can raise and lower this with a winch, which is right here. So you can electronically plug the winch in, raise and lower this outside patio with that winch. Really, really nice. You can see it has the carpeted floor. It looks like it's removable as well, but this all can collapse in if you want to put it up. Again, you got to go check out the technology video we did on this thing. So here is your bathroom. Beautiful glass bowl sink. Nice solid surface countertops. You have another heater right here. So you have three heating sources. You have a, a normal standard furnace. You have this right here, which is a heater and, and also a towel warmer. And then you also have a split system with a heat pump on it. So even in super, super cold weather, you can get this thing nice and warm inside. This one has a porcelain foot flush toilet. You can get it with a macerating toilet or even a um, incinerating toilet. Right here is the shower, absolutely beautiful shower. The co-owner or the co-founder, the wife, she basically designed this to be a really, really great shower for something really, really nice in an RV. Look at that skylight, it's huge. And the ceiling heights in here are seven feet tall. So you definitely have a lot of headroom in this unit. Place for your towels and you got more cabinetry over there. Okay, we'll stop here real quick and show you what's going on. So this is all of your breakers. You heard me right, there's no fuses here. This is all breakers. It's all marine grade. So this is designed to give you the best of the best in terms of understanding when things are on or off. Instead of having to replace fuses, everything is on breakers and it's all labeled. 24 volt, 12 volt, solar array. 
Up here is your power management. So you can see that through the system you have 81 watts and you're gonna see this spike up so you can see how much power is actually being fed into the system. Batteries are at 99%, so it's kind of in a float stage at this point and it's not needing as much power from the panels. Very cool. All right, stepping into the front closet. So this is absolutely beautiful. So check this out. You have this huge front storage area. It's like a front garage. Truma on-demand water system. You have your LG washer-dryer combo unit right here. Lots of storage, beautiful wood. And then you have your other air handler up here from LG, another part of your split system. So really nice. You can keep everything in this area nice and cool, or you can just run this one and run the one back there and the air kind of meets in the middle and gives you a really, really nice experience. Then this is for your Euro loft right here, so you can raise or lower that bed in the back. Very, very cool. Anyways, let's hop outside, take a look at the outside of this unit. Okay, starting from the front, working our way back, this has a fully aluminum frame. It's called a moment frame. Everything's welded together structurally. Has 16 inch on center I-beams running all the way across down the center. Has some steel reinforcement in areas. It has steel inside of that aluminum channel that's been insulated to prevent any type of uh, metal on metal issues, just to reinforce everything. Super, super thick A-frame as well. Very, very nice. You have a rock guard on this as well that is probably two to three times thicker than what you would see on an Airstream. Very, very, very thick aluminum. Up front here in the storage space, you have a battery. You can opt to get additional batteries up here as well. And this essentially is a battery just for other systems. It's not tied into the main house battery, but it gives you a redundancy that we were talking about. You can get it spec'd out with an Onan commercial propane generator if you want backup. Again, what I told you from the very beginning is that a lot of the things they put into this system is for redundancy. They basically have this motto that if you don't have something backing up something, backing up something else, then you run the risk of your primary system failing and not having any type of backup or being stuck in a position. So this gives you so many redundant features that some brands just wouldn't put in. They'd say, hey, we have this incredible solar system. We don't need to put any additional redundant systems in. But here they don't do that. They give you the option to spec this thing with so much redundancy that you just never have to worry about having an issue. You have cameras all the way around the unit. You have two cameras on the, one camera on each side, a camera up front and a camera in the back. You have dual pane frameless windows as well. They are gonna be making a switch eventually to acrylic dual pane windows. The baggage doors on here are absolutely insane. I mean, they are the thickest, heaviest and strongest baggage doors I've ever seen on an RV. Three inch thick side walls, two inches of foam plus an air gap. Uh, one of the owners, he's an actual architect and it's very important to him to give you the type of drainage, the type of air gap, uh, basically the type of construction that you would need to have the best possible insulated unit you can get. This is one of your storage areas underneath. Double seals as well. So you have two compression seals right here. And this basically, again, gives you just a better sealing system to keep water from getting in. And if water does get in or condensation forms, it has a way to drain out. Coming around to the side here, another look at that side suspension. That is super cool. Again, Dexter torsion axles, Toyo commercial 19.5 inch wheels and tires. Craziness. Look at the construction of this ramp or the side gate entry. That is their puppy who's been following me around. We've been getting along real well. Here is the cable, the winch cable to pull this up. And I believe it has like a 1500 pound load capacity. Plus you get this really cool system to hold umbrellas off each side because perhaps the awning right here doesn't extend out as far as you might like. They do have the option to put a standard awning underneath it, but they don't like to because they tend to fail. And if you're out in the middle of nowhere and it fails, you got problems. So instead they give you the solar awning. So these solar panels extend off of the top of both sides. Plus you have solar panels on top of the RV. So the entire roof is essentially solar panels and it provides enough power to the system to power every single thing on this system permanently you just don't ever have to worry about power generation because you have it and they also throw in a 50 amp cable if you need to charge off a shore or you need to power it off a shore power for redundancy it's it's absolutely crazy you can see the aluminum framework right here they have a really cool system to where it's enclosed from here to here but then underneath it, it's open and you can see components that you might need to have access to, but anything that could potentially get damaged, tanks and stuff like that are stored in this other area right here, the subfloor right here. Again, you have another really nice door here. And I can't 
explain to you in this video how cool this door actually is. You have a piano hinge right here, a huge hinge that's then wrapped in a vinyl mesh material. And then you have these latches that are thicker than any automotive latch I've ever seen on a two inch door that's fully insulated, aluminum on both sides. And you know, it's just, it's crazy. Plus an interior release in case your kids are being mean and they lock a sibling inside of this space. Very, very cool. Very high-end strip LED lighting back here. One thing you're going to notice, there's no caulking at all. So they use a foam compression tape in between here that will never be exposed to UV, never fail, and they use no caulking anywhere on this unit. And just attention to detail, check this out. That corner right there has been sanded down. You're never going to cut yourself on an edge. That is really cool, and it's something that even your highest-end conventional RVs, all the way up to, you know, million-plus don't do. You don't see this type of level of detail. Coming around to the back, you got your spare tire back here. You have a 2-inch receiver. This is good for up to 500 pounds of uh, load capacity, up to 12 inches off the back receiver. Another hatch back here. Coming around this way, this is going to be your cord. It's on an electric cord reel. You basically run this out, you can plug it in, and you can use shore power if you prefer shore power, or if there's a situation where you think you might need it. Now, this is super cool. This is this houses the outside portion of your mini split. So it's an LG mini split, and to open this up, you simply flip these, and this whole thing pulls out like a drawer, and you have full access to the outside compressor unit. That is absolutely cool, and it's game-changing, because everybody has wanted mini splits in an RV. Very few people have done it, and a few people have retrofitted it themselves, but it was never part of the actual build, and this is part of the build. You can see the welding on everything here. This is a crazy frame. It really is, and I'll get under here in a second to show you. All right, here you have your Toyo M143 commercial tires. These would be like an upgrade for an F450 on a 19 and a half inch rim. Outside power. You have more access to water pumps, other things in here as well. Everything's very serviceable. And then underneath here, check this out. Look at that. That's I-beams. These are aluminum I-beams on 16-inch centers, and then on the floor inside, they're on 12-inch centers. That is absolutely insane. Look how clean that is. Crazy, crazy, crazy construction. Sewer hose holder. All right, and then in here, this is where you would dump your tanks. Right here's your potable water. Got valves on everything, high-end valves on everything as well. Such a beautifully crafted unit. What do you guys think? Outside of your Truma AquaGo on-demand hot water system, absolutely love these things. I mean, they're heavy. They do require a good-sized truck, and they actually recommend something like that F-350 to haul something like this. So there, there's no delusion here to the fact that these are heavy units. They recommend heavy-duty trucks. They even build some of their own trucks. This is a living vehicle truck, 4500 Kelderman Air Ride Suspension. We did a full video on this truck. So if you're typing in the con comment section, do a video on the truck. We already did one. So you want to go back and check that out because these trucks are insane. But you don't need a truck like this to haul something like this. You can go to a dealership lot, buy a GMC 3500 HD, and you'll be able to haul it. You can buy you know, any factory truck that has the right payload and towing specs to haul these, as long as you're very careful to be sure you abide by the capacities, the numbers, and what the dealer says the truck's capable of doing. Yeah, but for something like this, you could get away with a three quarter ton truck if it had the right package. They recommend like a one ton single rear wheel truck for something like this, but when you go with their larger units, like this one right here, which we did a video on as well, which is absolutely insane. This unit right here is $700,000, 699, something like that. You definitely wanna check this out. This is the HD20 Pro. It has a price range of between like 350 all the way up to 800,000. And this is the full deal. This is everything. So you wanna check this out. But something like this, they absolutely recommend a dually to tow it with. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.